As you scout cornfields, are you finding ears with damaged grain at the tips? It's very common in southern Indiana this year, especially for corn that was planted in June. And the culprit is corn earworm. Corn earworm moths fly up every year from the south, and normally the populations aren't high enough to cause damage, except when we have very late planted corn. Usually the feeding is confined to the tip of the ear, but sometimes they can channel down the side of the ear as well. Earworm feeding can also provide a point of entry for many different fungal pathogens. Some molds like penicillium and trichoderma will reduce quality, but they aren't associated with mycotoxins. But others like aspergillus and fusarium can produce mycotoxins that are toxic to livestock and or humans if it's consumed. So you've got earworms and damaged ears. What can you do now? Well, once an earworm's inside the husk, there are no insecticide options. But to reduce the amount of mold, you should plan to harvest your grain around 22 to 25% moisture. You can also increase the fan speed on your combine to blow out more of the damaged kernels. And then once the corn is in the bin, dry the grain down to 15% within a couple days. And if you're planning to store the grain long term, make sure that moisture is down closer to 13.5%. But for next year, you need to know what traits that you're planting if you're worried about corn earworm. Products with the VIP3A protein, which are designated as Acremax leptra, or they'll have the AML suffix after the hybrid name like P1464 AML, uh, will provide an excellent control of corn earworm and other above ground pests. An insecticide application during silking can also provide some control of corn earworm. Thank you for watching and best wishes for a safe and successful harvest. If you have any further questions, please contact your Pioneer sales team. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.